Now the fighting is over, the collection of evidence has begun. Khalid Abu Sa'ar is a member of the Zintan Uprising Documents Committee. The cell phone videos and still photographs taken so liberally by fighters on both sides will form the basis of a Libyan legal case against members of the Gaddafi regime, like Saif al-Islam Gaddafi and Abdullah Sanusi. Livestock mown down by military machine guns. Across the city, homes destroyed by grad rockets. Lists of snipers assigned to target Zintan's people catalogues of weapons sent to crush the uprising, and injuries to protesters from Gaddafi's bullets. Crimes, these researchers say, that Saif al-Islam is answerable for. After the February 17th revolution started, we saw Saif's real face. The mask slipped. He started his threats of killing and civil war and destroying Libya. Zintan was the second city after Benghazi to rise up against Gaddafi. Their fighters respected as one of the toughest but fairest brigades. Saif al-Islam reportedly said on his capture, either shoot me in the head or hand me over to Zintan. As Zintan's people count their war dead, the almost universal view is that Saif and Sanusi must be tried in Libya. Abdullah Sanusi may have committed even more crimes than Saif. He was working with Gaddafi for so many years. After the capture of Saif, the Misrata Brigade, widely seen as responsible for the chaotic capture and summary execution of Muammar Gaddafi, turned up at the Zintan Military Council to offer their congratulations. Zintan Military Council is holding Saif al-Islam Gaddafi in a secret location because they genuinely fear for his safety. Zintan wants him to stay alive, to face trial. Others may not be so scrupulous. A man like Saif has many enemies, they told us, the more so after waging war against his own people. And the interim government of Libya, the NTC, hardened its stance ahead of the arrival in Tripoli of a delegation from the International Criminal Court, saying of Saif al-Islam. We spoke with Mr. Ocampo on the phone yesterday to assure him that Libya will be able to provide a fair trial in accordance with international standards. Sovereignty, respect, and a country's desire to show it can run its own affairs credibly. It's a potent mix to stand in the way of. Anita McNaught, Al Jazeera, Zintan.